Artemisinin is the drug that has helped cut global malaria deaths by more than 25 percent over the past decade. But now, in parts of Southeast Asia, this drug no longer works. And the World Health Organization's Dr. Shin Yong Su warns of serious setbacks if drug resistance continues to spread. The truth is that malaria will beat us all unless we do more than what we are doing now, and we do it better. Controlling malaria involves a range of strategies, using insecticidal bed nets to prevent mosquito bites, spraying insecticides, preventive treatment for children and pregnant women, and controlling or changing mosquitoes or the malaria parasites they carry. The World Health Organization says that in the last 10 years, 20 countries have brought the disease under control. At a U.S. congressional hearing, Dr. Mark Dybel, executive director of the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria, said the world is on course to end malaria. We have had so much success over the last 10 years, which you've heard about, that high transmission areas are becoming much more confined. Dybel said global efforts have led to better treatment and more effective control of the mosquito that carries the parasite. Dr. Anthony Fauci at the U.S. National Institutes of Health points to promising research that involves introducing a strain of bacteria into the mosquito. It's a bacteria that infects the mosquito, and what it does is that it interferes with the developmental process that the malaria parasite goes through in the mosquito in its life cycle. And once the bacterium is in the mosquito, it's passed down to succeeding generations. The hope is these malaria-proof mosquitoes will eventually replace those that can carry the parasite. Which means if you can get this out there among populations of mosquitoes in different regions of the world, in different countries, it could have a profound effect on the control of malaria. The true test, of course, will come when the mosquitoes infected with the bacterium are released into the wild. Dr. Gou Bien is the Michigan State University scientist who led this research. He spoke to VOA via Skype. I hope in the few years, maybe three years or four years, our mosquito can go to the field. Another promising line of research involves manipulating the mosquito's genes. Right now, the Anopheles mosquito has no defense against the malaria parasite. If scientists can change its genetic makeup, the mosquito's immune system could repel the organism. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking as the malaria parasite becomes immune to the world's frontline drug against the disease. Carol Pearson, VOA News.